Halfland, an ahistorical prehistory. The Battle of White Sheep Ridge. In the 62nd year of the Common Reckoning, Bothfar was crowned the King of the Dwarves of the Dark Hills. However, Bothvar's great uncle, Hoskar, who was the lord of the relatively small community of dwarves living around Ulla's Crag, felt that the throne was rightfully his. Over the winter, Hoskar gathered his forces, and in the spring of the year 63, he marched north, accompanied by his younger brother Horde and a force of approximately 200 armoured spear dwarves and 250 unarmoured crossbow dwarves. Hoskar had hoped that many of the dwarves of the Dark Hills would join his cause, but in fact the numbers who did so were small, and the bulk of his army was made up of levies of his own subjects. Bothfar heard of his coming and marched out to meet him. Although he was also accompanied by his younger brother, who was called Body, his was no levy army, but the standing force that was maintained by the kings of the dwarves of the Dark Hills. Behind Bothvar's banners marched 250 mail-clad spear dwarves and 200 crossbow dwarves wearing stout coats of gamberson. Hoskar's path north through the Dark Hills crossed the bare crest of White Sheep Ridge, and, on the summit of that ridge, the armoured ranks of Bothvar's spear dwarves were waiting silently for him. At each extremity of the ridge was a patch of woodland. As Bothvar observed Hoskar's army marching toward him, he gestured to the groups of crossbow dwarves he had positioned at each end of the ridge, and they moved forward into the trees in front of them. Hoskar's army marched in a typical dwarvish formation, with the spear dwarves in the middle and screens of crossbow dwarves to the front and sides. Hoskar now ordered his crossbow dwarves to form two groups, one on each flank, and move forward to scout the ground and protect his spear dwarves against any ambush. On Hoskar's left, his crossbow dwarves cautiously advanced through a wooded area to the edge of the trees. In front of them extended an area of open ground on the far side of which was the patch of woodland sheltering Bothvar's right-hand group of crossbow dwarves. Hoskar's dwarves loosed crossbow bolts at Bothvar's dwarves, and several of Bothvar's dwarves fell, but they retaliated in kind, and Hoskar's dwarves also suffered losses. On Hoskar's right, his crossbow dwarves advanced over a hill and into the trees beyond. Under the cover of the trees, they were able to move forward unobserved until they reached the forest edge. From this position, they rained a storm of crossbow bolts upon the left flank of Bothvar's left-hand group of crossbow dwarves. Bothvar's dwarves, taken by surprise, scrambled to reorientate themselves to face this threat, suffering several casualties in doing so. And now Bothvar's dwarves started to loose crossbow bolts in their turn, and more dwarves on both sides were sent to join their ancestors in the great halls of the dead. As crossbow bolts flew back and forth on his flanks, Hoskar ordered his spear dwarves forward, right up to the foot of White Sheep Ridge, atop which stood Bothvar and his silent host. But as they did so, the crossbow battle on Hoskar's right came to an end. Despite their initial discomfort, the additional protection afforded to them by stout coats of gamberson had enabled Bothvar's crossbow dwarves to see off those of Hoskar. Bothvar's dwarves now emerged into the open, 
and started to loose crossbow bolts into the right flank of Hoskar's spear dwarfs. And now Bothvar's horn sounded, and the front rank of his spear dwarfs advanced down the ridge. And with mighty war cries, Hoskar's dwarves charged into them. Some of Bothgar's spear dwarves were sent reeling back, but they left some of Hoskar's dwarves dead on the ground behind them. And now the second rank of Bothvar's dwarves charged into the fray. Again, several of Bothvar's dwarves were thrown back, but Hoskar's dwarves suffered more losses in so repulsing them. Meanwhile, the crossbow dwarves on Bothvar's right flank had continued to exchange bolts with their counterparts on Hoskar's left. Both sides suffered grievously in this exchange, receiving and inflicting casualties, with the end result that all the participants were killed, wounded, hiding, had run away, or were otherwise reduced to impotence. While the outcome on his left flank could thus be regarded as a draw, in practical terms it meant that Hoskar was not only losing the battle of attrition between the spear dwarves in the centre, but that his spear dwarves were now bereft of any crossbow dwarves to support them. He decided to cut his losses and ordered a retreat. Hoskar and Horde and those of their spear dwarves who were able to disengage, fell back, about turned, and swiftly marched back toward Ulluscrag. Meanwhile, atop White Sheep Ridge, Bothvar and Body watched as their spear dwarves cut down those of Hoskar's spear dwarves who remained on the field. Thus was the Battle of White Sheep Ridge won, and thus was Bothvar's reign as King of the Dwarves of the Dark Hills secured. <laughs>